All right, before I start, I thought I'd uh, give you a little something this morning. Oh, that don't look like much, does it? Do you know what that thing is there? That thing there is the most miraculous thing that ever happened since the resurrection. And nobody could match it, nobody could do anything with it, and if you had Einstein here, he'd just faint. Because he's supposed to be a mathematician, he couldn't figure that out thing out for love and the money. Now this is what you got here. You got here the first verse in the Bible. Genesis 1.1. And over there you have the last verse in the Bible. Genesis, uh, Revelation 20, 22, 21. All right, now turn to Genesis chapter 1.1. 1, 1. That's the first verse in the King James Bible. This phenomenon is found only in the King James Bible. It can be found in no Greek manuscript and no Hebrew manuscript they've ever found. And never will be. All right, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Count the number of words in that verse. How many you got? Oh, I count me the number of letters. It should be 44. If you're trying to count them, you need to see this for yourself. You ain't going to believe it to get through. There's no way to, there's no way to fix it up. It's unfixable. All right, uh, read me the number of vowels. That's A-I-E-O-U. Those are your vowels. A-I-E-O-U. And anything that isn't the A-I-E-O-U is a consonant in your alphabet. Now, you're supposed to know that, but they don't teach English anymore, so maybe some don't know what it is. The vowels are A-I-E-O-U. How many have we got? All right. Now count the consonants. That's any letter that's not a consonant. If it isn't an A-I-E-O-U, then it's a consonant. Twenty-seven. All right, now, take the last verse in your Bible. Notice already, 44 and 44, 17, 17, 27, 27. Why isn't that one 12, 12, or 10, 10? Because he's going to give you a third reference to put them all together, and it's going to tie all three of them together. And it doesn't in the Hebrew or the Greek. And I get Revelation chapter 22, 21, and look at that. Get the number of words. You should get 12. All right, now get the number of letters. That should be 44. All right, you got them? All right, now come the number of vowels. A I E O U. Seventeen. Now, what kind of a coincidence are we getting into here? With well, the first verse in the Bible and the last verse. All right, count the consonants. Any letter that's not an A, I, E, O, U is a consonant. Twenty-seven. Well, if that thing was perfectly uniform three here, but this one here is off. You'd expect 10 here and 10 there, but you get 10, you get 12, you get two more. Why? Because if it had been two more, if it had been two more here, or two less there, then it wouldn't have come out like it's going to come out. All right, now if you add 10 and 12, what do you got? 22. What? 22. 22 words. If you put 44 and 44, what do you get for letters? 88. 88 letters. Uh, if you put 17 and 17, what do you get? 34. 34 vowels. If you put 27 and 27 together, what do you get? 54. 54. There's a verse in the Bible that has that in it. And it's the verse, the verse is, gives you the author of the Bible. And there's the first Alpha and Omega, the beginning, Alpha, and Omega, the end. There's the beginning, and here's the, over, over here is the end. And this one here is going to give you the middle. And this one will give you the author of both of these. And it won't be in Hebrew or Greek. 
although that's written in Hebrew and that's written in Greek. Now, what are you going to do with a matter like that? You know what you chance saw of doing that in 23 million books in the Library of Congress? Not one in 23 million. If you made it 100 million, you couldn't get it. If you made it 500 million, you couldn't get it. If you made it 900 trillion, you wouldn't be anywhere near it. Take your Bible and turn to 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, which is omitted in all the new Bibles. It gives you the author. The book has three authors. 1 John 5, 7. The Father. Christ says, Father, thy word is truth. Son, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit, they are life. Holy Spirit, all scriptures give me inspiration of God. Holy men of God spake as they move by the Holy Ghost. 1 John 5, 7, Father, Word, Holy Ghost, right? Count the words. Boy, did you walk into a mess this morning. What about that? Count the letters. Take your time. Of course, you know what it's going to be now. <laughs> but how can that be? It can't. But it is. <laughs> the 88 letters in that thing. How many got 88 on that thing? All right. Rest you go ahead and count it. Give it a few more minutes and then we'll go on. But you know what's going to happen. But it can't happen. This isn't Greek or Hebrew. It's English. This thing is set up in 1611. And it's above the originals. And Ruckman's the crazy one, huh? Don't you know it? All right, you want to get the vowels? There should be 34 of them. Looks like your King James might be a little bit more inspired than the originals. That phenomenon isn't in a Hebrew Bible or a Greek Bible. Any of them. It's in the English. All right, try the vowels, 34 of them. Now try one more. Count the consonants. Einstein thought he was a, ma a mathematician. <laughs> Pardon me while I laugh, will you? 54. Now, ain't that something? Do you think the King James Translators took time out to arrange that when they came through there? Well, they wouldn't have, could, couldn't arrange that or come away the way it came out. These here are two different languages. Here and here, that's Hebrew. That wouldn't have it. And that's Greek, and that wouldn't have it. And the two together wouldn't match. And the two together wouldn't be like the other one. And the other one is you've got, you've got two of them in Greek, this one in Greek, and this one in Greek, and this one here in Hebrew. And it isn't in Greek or Hebrew. It's in English. Now, wouldn't you get a shock if you got to heaven and found out that the word forever settled in heaven was English? <laughs> wouldn't that be something? And God, when he first started out, first gave it in Hebrew, and then gave it in Greek. And when he got to the end of the universal language, he picked the universal language and gave you that. Now, there are three authors there. There's the Father that authored that book, the Son, the Holy Ghost, and that's in 1 John 5, 7. And if you have an NIV or an RSV or a new RSV or an ASV or a new ASV or an RV, that verse is gone. Somebody uh, after 1611 knew what was in that verse 
and he knew how to why that should be gotten rid of, and the guys who were took Hagen out didn't even know why they did it, and they did it to break that. So somebody knew about that when those King James Bibles translators sat down and wanted to get rid of that. And the guys who changed the King James Bible didn't even know why they changed it. And the reason why they changed it because the first of the book to the end of the book was given by the three members of the Trinity and they're in the book. So they all match. In English. Okay, all right. Second Peter, chapter 1.